Welcome to Flare. I'm going to give you a brief introduction to this powerful motion control software. When you start up the software, you get the main numerical screen. It is split up into several different sections. Along the top, there is the main menu. Here you can see the name of every axis we're controlling. Axis is another name for motion or motor. If there are more motors than can be seen on the screen, one can use the slide to look at the rest. Flare can control up to 32 motors, so they don't always all fit on the same screen. Along the side, we have the side menu. It is split into the editing menu or the control menu. And down the bottom is the runtime control menu, the camera control menu as it's otherwise known. When you first start up Flare, you have to turn on the motors. Some motors on a real rig could have brakes or simply not be turned on. One does this either by pressing the name of the motor or one goes to the main menu and selects Motors Enable and they will turn on one by one. To actually move the motor, it is very simple. There are many ways to move real motors, such as hand wheels or pan bars. Even pushing through the software, one can also control them using the mouse. The left and right mouse buttons control the left and right or more positive and negative motions of the motor. This is very simple. To actually create a move, one stores a position one wants the camera to start at. Let's say this is my first position. I'm going to store it. I can either use the editing menu and press store, or using my right mouse button, I press the positions where I want it to be stored. To add a line, I can again either use my editing menu and add line, or I simply press the down arrow and it automatically adds another line and puts in 100 frames in between. At the moment, Flare is set to run at 24 frames per second. I'm going to change this to 25. Let's store another position. OK, this is my second position. Two positions is all one requires for a simple move. Let's run this. The first thing Flare will do when I run this is it will go to the start as I'm pressing forward run, so it has to go to the beginning of the move. Let's press forward run. It says ready to go to. I now press the go to button and all the axes move to the start of the move. Position 1. Now it's ready to shoot. Shoot. The slider along the bottom shows what frame I'm at. At 25 frames per second, this is a 4 second move. I can actually drag this to any frame. Let's say I want to see where the camera is at frame 31. Now you can see this is where it would be at frame 31. Let's look at the graphics. This is a very simple move, going from point A to point B. So the curve is very simple. I can easily add additional points. Let's say I want to move to this position. Now I have a three point move. Let's look at the graphics now. Here you can see the extend axis doesn't move for 100 frames and then moves. Each motor is moving individually. There are also other options within Flare that allow them to work together to create the exact camera path one requires. This is often referred to as target tracking. Flare has a complete model of the rig. Here is a Milo, the most popular motion control system available. Flare shows me my camera path. Let's run this move and see what it does.
not very interesting, but that's it. Let's make it a bit more obvious. I'm going to move it quite a distance along the track. Let's say there. Let's look at that from another angle. I can also add additional objects onto the screen to give me some perspective. All right. Now, if I want to actually film that with a real camera, let's say a film camera, I will turn the camera on. It is just another motor in this case, and I would set it to record. Notice along the bottom, there's a film counter. Watch what happens when we run this move this time. First of all, it goes to the beginning, all the axes moving, now it's ready to shoot. Ready? Action! That beep you heard was the camera getting to full speed. Now, this is a 200 frame move and it will stop. As you can see, some film has been used. Along the bottom of the graphics, it shows you what each of the mouse buttons does. Flare is designed to be used with a mouse with three buttons. The left mouse button will zoom, while the right one will flip the screen. Let's see what effect that has. It fills the whole screen up with the graph. Now, I can also look at the velocities, or the accelerations. I can zoom on any part, or I can go back to my original screen. Feel free to play around. 